Welcome to How to Learn the Keyboard Notes. My name is Greg with Bright Idea Music, and this video is simply about learning where the notes are on your keyboard or piano. Now, if you're a fresh beginner, or if you're not sure about where the notes are on the keys, you will be by the end of this video. In addition to the video, I'm going to send you somewhere where you can download a worksheet that will cement this tutorial into your brain where you'll be officially certified as someone who has learned where the notes are on all keyboard instruments. Now it won't cost you anything and you'll be glad you did because this worksheet is an illustrated version of the video and it only takes a few minutes to complete. It'll have some drills and puzzles that'll reinforce the teaching on the video tutorial. It's definitely worth it because learning the notes on the keyboard is the most important beginner skill that you can learn. If you don't take the time to learn this, it's virtually impossible to go to the next step in learning to play and you'll just wind up frustrated. So let's get started. The first thing I want to say is, I strongly suggest that you do not use visual aids on the keys themselves to indicate which note is which. Publishers sell inserts that fit behind the keys, they sell stickers they have to put on the keys, people write note names with a sharpie, they use masking tape and they write on it. This is a horrible idea and it'll keep you from learning the notes on the keyboard. You don't need these visual aids anyway because it's just too easy to learn them and you're going to learn them today and you'll never have to use anything like that for the rest of your life when you once and for all learn your keyboard notes. You probably already know that the note names in Western music are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now forgive me if this may seem too simplistic but I don't want to just assume that you know this because not everyone does. So please bear with me if you already know this. We're going to learn the keyboard note names today by using two reference points. Now first, I'm going to cover the pattern of the keyboard. Keyboards come in all sizes, from the standard 88 note piano to 61 key keyboards. There's 49, 76 keys to small 25 key controller keyboards to organs that have two keyboards. But the one thing they have in common is they all have the same pattern. They, ha they all have this layout of white keys and offset from those white keys is this pattern of black keys in sets of two and three. So you have seven different white notes and five different black notes. That makes a total of 12 different notes on the keyboard. That's it. You can choose any note to start on and if you count consecutively 12 notes up or down the keyboard, you'll start over after counting 12. Some beginning piano students hate black keys because they think it makes it more difficult to play. But just imagine, if it weren't for the black keys, you wouldn't even know where you were on the keyboard because black keys are essentially reference points that tell you where you are. Now the first reference point that we're going to use is the pattern of the two black keys. Find a group of two black keys and look to the immediate left of them. The note to the immediate left is the note of C. As a matter of fact, when you're sitting at the piano correctly, your body is centered on middle C. Now I should mention by now that to your right is up the keyboard and to your left is down the keyboard. Now this is what I want you to do. Find every set of two black keys and look to the immediate left of them. Now like I just said, that is the note of C and it's a white key. Find all of your C's on your keyboard. Play each one of them and count how many you have. Now when you're learning the keyboard notes, C is your starting point. Next, find the pattern of the three black keys on the keyboard. The note to the immediate left of those is the note of F. Now just like C, it's on a white key. Find all your F's on the keyboard. Play each one of those and count how many you have. Now without even touching the keyboard, spot every C and then spot every F. It's easy, right? You can spot them just by looking because you're using two different patterns of black notes as a reference point. Get real familiar with F and C and then you'll be ready to move on. Once you have that under your belt, all you need to do is familiarize yourself with the other five letter note names that are left in all of the sharps and flats, which I'll cover in just a moment. Just like the alphabet, D and E is between C and F, so that's a really simple way to identify those two notes. Next, Look between F and C. The next white note up from F is obviously G. Now since you can't go any farther in the alphabet beyond G, what do you think the next note is? That's right, it's A and then B. B is the very next white note and then the next white note you're back on is C. All this really boils down to is just identifying C and F 
and then just filling in the gaps to identify the rest of the notes. It may seem tedious at first, but once you spend some time with the keyboard, you won't even give it a second thought. You'll be able to find any note without any effort. Moving along, let's discuss sharps and flats. Black keys are the sharps and flats, and they're referred to in music as enharmonic notes. Don't let this scare you. It just means they have two different names. For example, if you have to play a D flat, you'll just play the very next note to the left, which is obviously D flat. If you have to play a D sharp, you play the very next note to the right of D, which is, you guessed it, D sharp. Every note on the keyboard can be sharped or flatted. When you flat a note, you play the note that is to the very left of it, and when you sharp a note, you play the one that's to the very right of it. If you're wondering how you can sharp or flat a note that doesn't have a black key next to it, you're one step ahead of me because that's what I was going to cover next. Keys that are in this position are not left out. If you have to sharp, for example, an E, you just simply move to the very next key to the right, and you'll land on a white note that we commonly know as F. It's not as common to have to use white keys as in harmonics, but it's something I thought you should know. Now this is a subject for another video, so we won't go any farther than that for now. By now you should have a pretty good grasp of your keyboard notes, and with that I want to direct you to brightideamusic.com where you can download the worksheet that I mentioned earlier. Like I said before, it won't cost you anything, and it's a powerful tool for you to learn your keyboard notes and have a solid foundation. This is the most fundamental skill in beginning keyboard. Once you have this skill under your hands, it really helps you and you'll advance a lot faster than someone who's still using stickers and inserts to identify notes. So go to brightideamusic.com and click on the YouTube Offers tab. And one more thing, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel and I'm going to be sharing more tutorials like this one and my intention is to provide you with some valuable content and make it worth your time. This is Greg with Bright Idea Music. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.